Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to solve this double integration. But the condition is that we have to solve this problem by converting it into polar coordinates. Okay. So let us draw the region of integration first. Then we will convert the problem in polar coordinates and we will solve. Okay. So as you can see, the inner integration with respect to x. So that's why these are limits of x. And outer integration with respect to y. So these are limits of y. Okay. So in this way, we got our limits. With the help of them, we will find the region of integration. So therefore, region is bounded by. We have y is equal to zero. Second equation, y is equal to one. Third equation, this is my x. Okay, x is equal to zero, and the last equation, x is equal to root one minus y square. So we know that y is equal to zero. This is equation of x-axis. So this is x-axis. Let me show here. Y is equal to zero. Second equation, x is equal to one. This is a line parallel to x-axis. Okay, so this is. It represents a line. X is equal to one. It's a line parallel to x. X is passes through y is equal to one. So that line will be like this. So this is a line y is equal to one, which is parallel to x. X is passes through y is equal to one. X is equal to zero. Will you guess? X is equal to zero means what? This is equation of y axis. This is y axis. X is equal to zero. That is y axis. Okay. Let us go further. The last equation. In last equation, we have a square root. So first of all, we have to remove the square root by taking square of both sides. If you take square of both sides, we will have x square is equal to one minus y square, right? So let us shift y square on this side. So we will have x square plus y square is equal to one. So one means basically one square. So we are familiar with this. If you have equation like this, x square plus y square is equal to r square. This is equation of circle, right? This is a standard circle whose center is zero zero and radius is r. So let us compare that standard equation of circle with this one. You can easily see at a place of r we have one. That means this is equation of circle. This is circle again. So this is the circle. So center is obviously zero zero. Center zero zero and radius r, which is one, since r is equal to one here. So let me draw a circle with center zero zero radius one. So circle will be like this. This is my rough sketch. Okay, this is a circle, given circle, right? Let me remove this part. It is not required now. Okay. Let us use this space to solve the remaining part of this problem. Okay, so the region is bounded by x-axis. Region is bounded by y is equal to one. That means actual region of integration lies between these two lines. Region is bounded by y-axis also. Bounded by y-axis. Bounded by these two lines and bounded by part of circle also. So obviously this is region of integration. Okay, so let me show properly. This is region of integration. Okay, so finally we got the region of integration. Now we have to solve this problem, and they have asked to convert into polar coordinates. So let us convert the problem into polar coordinates. Let me mention to convert the problem into polar coordinates into polar coordinates okay so there is standard substitution we are going to use we put x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta that means when we want to convert a problem in polar coordinates we have this fixed substitution x is equal to always r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and because of this substitution our value of dx dy will be r dr d theta so we are going to use this substitution so obviously everywhere we are going to put these things but first of all we will convert the standard equations into 
polar form okay so what is the standard equation we have this equation x square plus y square is equal to one so let us convert it into polar form just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so we have this equation of circle we will convert it into polar form so at a place of x we are going to put r cos theta so r square cos square theta value of y is r sin theta so r square sin square theta is equal to 1 so we can take r square common here so we will have cos square theta plus sin square theta do you know the value of this bracket the value of this bracket is 1 so 1 into r square 1 so r square is equal to 1 so obviously r is also equal to 1 by taking square root of both sides so this is equation of circle we have okay so let me show here what is our equation of circle r is equal to 1 so equation of circle is r is equal to 1 so now we will draw strip in polar coordinates we always draw strips which starts at origin so the strip will be like this why we use this strip to cover the entire region of integration that means that strip will rotate like this and it will cover each and every part of the region of integration okay so let us find limits now let me show here so then r let us find limits of r first limits of theta next so strip starts at origin where the value of r is 0 so it will start at 0 and strip is bounded above by a part of circle right whose equation is r is equal to 1 so in this way i got the limits of r which is 0 to 1 we have to rotate the strip like this it will start here it will move like this and it will go up to this point right so here the value of theta is 0 and the strip should be rotated by 90 degree to cover each and every part of a region so theta should vary from 0 to 90 degree that means 0 to pi by 2 so i is equal to always inner integration with respect to r 0 to 1 outer integration with respect to theta 0 to pi by 2 let us see what we have inside this integration we have this function okay so let us replace x and y by this r cos theta and r sin theta so what we have cos x square plus y square so x square plus y square like this so at a place of x i am going to put r cos theta at a place of y i am going to put r sin theta just like this okay we can do the same steps we can perform same steps and finally we will get its value is r square so here in this case i am going to write directly that is r square by solving it by putting x and values of y value of x square plus y square will be r square after that we have dx dy whose value is r dr d theta so now we have to solve this integration okay so there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so we have to solve this integration but see we cannot solve it directly since inside cos we have a r square okay we cannot solve that integration directly i need to take a help of substitution we need to put something so putting so generally what we do whatever inside the bracket or whatever in power we generally put it is equal to t so in bracket we have r square so i am going to put r square is equal to t so after putting our first task is to find derivative and the second task is to find limits new limits we want getting so let us find derivative first derivative of r square is 2r right and we write dr here derivative of t is 1 and we write dt there so value of r uh, 2r dr is dt but see we have just r dr only so that's why let us shift 2 on that side so r dr is equal to dt by 2 that that means this r dr can be replaced by dt by 2 so in this way we found out derivative now we have to find new limits let us talk about old limits first so old limits are 0 and 1 lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1 so let us put r is equal to 0 here so 0 square is 0 so the value of t is 0 let us put r is equal to 1 here so 1 square is 1 so value of t is 1 that means new limits are also 0 to 1 right so therefore i is equal to integration outer integration remains same getting 
So we are solving the inner integration. So we have new limits for inner integration 0 to 1 cos r square. The value of r square is t. r dr, its value is dt by 2. And we have d theta here. So 1 by 2 is constant will come outside. 0 to pi by 2. Integration 0 to 1 cos t dt outer integration with respect to theta. 1 by 2 0 to pi by 2. What is integration of cos? Integration of cos is sin. So it is sin t limits 0 to 1 d theta. Let us put upper limit lower limit half 0 to pi by 2. I am putting upper limit sin 1 at a place of t. Okay minus sine lower limit 0 d theta okay so make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let us solve it further okay so half as it is 1 by 2 as it is 0 to pi by 2 sine 1 it has no any standard value so i am writing sine 1 as it is and sine 0 is always 0 Okay, its value is 0. Uh, if you skip it, no problem. d theta. So, sin 1 is constant basically. So, I will take it outside. 0 to pi by 2 d theta. So, sin 1 upon 2. Integration of d theta is theta 0 to pi by 2. I am putting upper limit, lower limit. Sin 1 by 2. If I put upper limit, we will have pi by 2. If I put 0, 0. So this is pi by 4, getting 2 into 2, 4, sin 1. This is the required answer. So this is required answer. Okay, so make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.